Welcome back everyone, James Richardson here with another video for you today and in today's video I'm going to be talking specifically about protein powders, um, specifically whey protein powders and if it matters where you get your protein powder from. So does it matter? Does it matter where you get your protein powder from? And why am I making this video? Well, too often you'll hear somebody tell you to avoid a specific brand of protein powder and often they don't really have a strong reason for telling you this other than to tell you to buy the protein powder that they use. Um, so does it really matter and what are the differences? We're going to take a look. So for this video I'm specifically talking about whey protein and for anyone that doesn't know whey protein is a protein, a type of protein powder which digests very quickly and it is also an animal based product so it comes from um, I believe it comes from the manufacturing of cheese so for this reason um, yeah let me just point out it is animal based and it is known to be the fastest digesting type of protein that you can get so people use this type of protein in their shakes after a workout typically however you can use a whey protein um, you know at any time really if it's part of a balanced diet but in the fitness world specifically whey proteins are used after a workout and it's to help you get the protein into your body quickly to help with building muscle so when you go and buy a protein powder the likelihood is you, if you're starting out, you're going to realize there are countless options of where you can buy this protein powder. Um, some are going to be a lot different in price. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to take a look at two examples for this. And what you can see on my screen now is Impact Whey Protein by a brand named MyProtein. Okay, so this is just an example, and I'm going to use this as my cheaper alternative example. So this is likely going to be where most people start out buying their protein. Okay, so this is like your bog standard protein. It's, you know, no bells and whistles, very um, affordable. And we're going to take a little look at this, and we're going to compare it to what I would consider the top of the range protein powder so this is more expensive this is what a lot of people are going to recommend you use so I'm going to look at the two protein powders and we're going to compare them and see really if there's much difference and if you really should be avoiding the cheaper alternative so let's first of all take a look at what's in it okay so nutritional information um, as you can see, um, per serving we're going to look at. So we're going to look at specifically per serving and per 100 grams. Um, so in this one, per 100 grams you're getting 82 grams of protein. And per serving that means 21 grams. Okay. Now if we go to optimum nutrition, I have had a look at this before. And what I did notice is their nutritional information doesn't exist. Doesn't actually exist. Okay, so I'm not trying to fool you with anything. I'm just trying to point things out. Um, so actually, we're stuck with reading sort of this kind of info here. Okay, so 24 grams per serving, I believe. But what does that mean compared to 100 grams? doesn't really tell tell us much doesn't really tell us much so I have ha actually opened another tab and this is Amazon well-known site and we're going to try and find exactly how much this has per 100 grams okay so per 100 grams I'm looking for the nutritional info per 100 grams and um, here we go, per 100 grams. Okay, so per 100 and carbohydrates, protein, 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 protein. There we go, 72 grams per 100 grams. 
but if I go with the cheap alternative, I'm getting more protein. Yes, the, the, you know, per serving slightly less, but maybe the serving sizes are slightly different, different in sizes, right? But per 100 grams, so 100 grams of the cheaper protein is going to give me 82 grams of protein. And if I go with the more expensive version, per 100 grams, then you get 72 grams of protein, okay? So what exactly is the issue So what exactly is the reason for people telling us to avoid the cheaper protein? What is the reason? Well, the likelihood is people don't actually know. They just will say avoid it, but there's not really a reason why. Um, I mean, comparing the two, the only difference I noticed was that the more expensive protein powder came in a plastic tub and it looked like it had a bit more marketing behind it. It also did claim to have BCAAs inside the protein powder. Um, my personal opinion on that is we don't actually need BCAAs. So this is like throwing in something that we don't necessarily need. Um, but I've already showed you that the cheaper protein powder actually has more protein per 100 grams. So when we hear of people telling us to avoid this, you often hear people say, oh, it's full of chemicals, it's loaded up on sugar. So loaded up on sugar, let's take another look. So we're going back to the comparison here. So um, gold standard 100% whey, despite having less protein in per 100 grams. Um, so it's 100% whey. Um, let's go and take a look at the sugar content. Okay, so we're going to look at per 100 grams as it's just easier to measure and compare. And we're going to go carbohydrates 10 grams of which sugars are 5.1. Okay, so if we go per 100 grams, carbohydrates 4 grams per 100, carbohydrates, per 100, 10 grams, of which are sugars, 4 grams, of which are sugars, 5.1 grams, so this is per per 100 grams, not per serving, per 100 grams, okay, so we're comparing the protein per 100 grams, and it appears to me as though this cheaper brand of protein, despite being more clear with its nutritional information, more clear with its nutritional information, actually has more protein and less carbs and less sugars than the more expensive brand of protein which has less protein, more carbs, of which more is sugar. Let's take one other look. Let's take one other look at pricing, okay? So 2.2 kilograms is 42 pounds. I um, would strongly advise to not buy it from this site as... Um, it just seems more expensive. But, I mean, we could say it's £50 from the manufacturer for the same amount. Now, if I go... Is there any discount codes on this? Discount codes? I don't see any 15% off on your first order. Okay, so you get 15% off on the first order. Well, 2.5 kilograms, slightly more, um, for almost the same price. But the discount code at the top, almost almost halves this so I'm not going to say that discount code will be there forever but I do know this brand very well and they are very known very well known to offer great discounts all year round um, so just by looking at those two examples 
The cheaper protein is full of chemicals, doesn't have much protein. I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. If you have an opinion on this topic, please drop a comment below. You will definitely um, make this more interesting. Um, so if you are somebody that vouches for the high um, priced you know, protein powder, definitely leave a comment below. I'm sure your comments will be welcome. Um, but just by looking and comparing online very quickly at first hand, I don't know why anyone is overpaying for their protein. So, you know, recently a lot of, um, here's another point I'm just going to quickly mention, but a lot, of, a lot of bodybuilders and fitness athletes recently have told us they're actually vegan or they've made the switch to vegan. So, you know, at the beginning of this video when I said whey protein is not vegan and it's, it comes from animal products, well, anyone that's vegan wouldn't touch a whey protein. So by that alone, you, it kind of states that you don't even need the, the most expensive protein powder anyway because, well, if I can build a body without whey protein powder, then why would I need to spend lots of money on whey protein powder? Just a thought. So mor moral of the story, don't always listen to the big guy in the gym. Okay, so when a big guy in the gym is telling you, ah, oh, you need to avoid, you know, this cheap protein, it's full of nasty chemicals, and instead, how about you buy this brand? Sometimes it's complete and utter nonsense. And, you know, all you need to do is go onto Google and do your own research. And like I showed you today, it's not always the case. And actually, sometimes the cheaper alternative is actually what you need. Um, if you have any comments about this or you want to throw some shade at what I've just showed you, drop a comment down below in the box below. I'm sure I will get back to you as soon as I can. But that is all from me today. Don't always listen to the big guy at the gym. And, you know, it does it matter where you get your protein shakes from? I mean, I guess so. But, um, yeah, do your research first and buy the protein powder that you can afford that is going to give you the returns that you're looking for. That's all from me today. James Richardson, I'm out and I'll see you in the next video.